All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and head this way back uh, towards the witch's lair, main area, and uh, head towards the next level. We've got a long way to go in this game yet. Yeah, we're only through three levels, so, you know, hardest is yet to come still. All right, now you may notice something. Something I didn't point out earlier. Not this guy. Uh, if you look down there to where the Treasure Trove Cove level is, you can see the little eyes in the mouth that makes it look like a face. Well, and if you look up here to where the Clanker's Cavern entrance is, you can see that same kind of a face. All levels, uh, that's how you know you're going into an area that opens up to a level, is looking for those faces. But unfortunately, the where the puzzles are hidden isn't quite as well uh, marked. So let's go ahead and get this jiggy while we're here. Yay. Grab it. All right. So there's going to be 10 jiggies in the overworld and 10 in each level. And I'm not exactly sure. I can't quite remember how many there are in total, but I believe there's 90, but I'm not sure if that's correct. So let's go ahead and head up through this note door. We could have come here after Treasure Trove Cove, but that would have been sequence breaking slightly. We could have done these levels first, but I wanted to do them in order since, you know. Whoa! Wow. I thought Grunty was egotistical, but that's just... Wow. I mean, I can't even... Wow. Okay, so... There's a Jiggy straight ahead of us, but we can't get to that yet. So we're going to have to, uh, we have two choices. We can go to the right and go up these stairs things, or we can go to the left up that slope. Let's go to the left first, just, uh, just cause. Not just cause, that's a different game, just cause. Let's head in here. I believe this is an area to our next level? Yes, okay. There's nothing we can do here yet because that's the entrance to our next level right there, but we can't... It's not open yet because we haven't put the uh, jiggies into the puzzle. So let's go ahead and head back and we'll uh, go the other way. We'll go right instead. Okay, there's a fish in the water. He acts exactly like Snacker. Well, he'll chase you if you fall in the water, but unlike Snacker, he's not invisible, so you can kill him pretty much any time. Uh, he's not that big of a threat at all. Okay, we got some more minions here. Go away. I don't like you. All right, and we can go up through this door. Now, see, this is why I didn't want to come here right after finishing Treasure Trove Cove, because we couldn't have done anything here until after we got at least 260 notes, i.e. after finishing Clanker's Cavern. So now we can go up here to a deserty looking area with ruins and stuff. Uh, you can actually break these blocks, so that's nice. There's something in there that we can't do yet. Um, let me see here. I believe... Oh, yeah, there's a mumbo token back here. I think there's another uh, set of blocks that we can break around here as well. Yeah, there we go. Don't remember quite what's in here. It's a cauldron or something like that. Uh, we're getting to the point in the game where the cauldrons are becoming more and more useful because of the... Uh... Whoop. This minion here takes two hits to kill instead of just one, so watch out for that. Not that he's any bigger of a, of a, of a, any of a bigger threat, so... That causes a shock jump pad to appear. Okay, and I don't remember if that's useful to us yet. I don't think it is, honestly. Um, so let's just move on, I think. Okay, so we came in that way. We're gonna go this way. Okay, we've got two ways to go, left and right. Right, I believe this leads to another level that hasn't been opened yet. Yep, this is the entrance to the fifth level that we, again, haven't opened. So we're going to have to wait to do that later. Um, let's go ahead and head this way. We're still looking for the entrance to the third level, or the way to unlock the fourth level, rather. We've already done the third level. What am I saying? Okay, this area leads to the sixth level. That's dead ahead here. And then um, there's also a couple of other things here that we can do. No, oh, she just called because they're useless. You can use eggs to open up these webs, which took me forever to figure out when I first played this game, because you're given absolutely no indication that you can do that. None. So there's a cauldron here that we can uh, activate. There's a purple one. And that leads us to the very first cauldron that we unlocked back in the first area. So now we can use that to warp from there to here, which is useful because, like I said, this is the fifth level 
uh, no, sixth level, and then the seventh level is right over there. So yeah, we're we're getting on up there. This is um, or maybe it's other way around. Maybe it's the sixth, seventh. I don't remember. I don't remember much about the level layout in this game. But uh, suffice to say, we're getting pretty far up there. Look at that, 450 notes. We can't even open that one yet. Um, let me see. Continue on our way up here. Unlock this. It's a blue cauldron, which we haven't unlocked the other one for yet, so yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and jump down now. That's one thing, you do take fall damage, but if you slam um, or uh, flutter jump before you hit the ground, you won't take any damage. But after you fall from a certain point, you uh, can't flutter or or slam. So you just we're just going to hop inside the cauldron, head back to the first area, and work our way back through the manor, or the lair, rather, the lair. This is the manor. That, le that comes later. We're going to head back through the lair and look for another way to go that would unlock another level because we haven't unlocked the fifth, th fourth or fifth level yet. And we found where they're supposed to go, yes, but we haven't actually unlocked them. So let's head down here and take a look. I don't think this is what we're looking for, but uh, it's worth a peek anyway. Because I didn't, I didn't show you guys. I told you that it was use, this area was useless, but uh, I didn't show you what was down here. So you can see Belinda's back there. Um, this puzzle up here, we don't even have a puzzle podium for it, so we can't even we can't even fill it in even if we had the jiggies. So we're going to have to wait to do that later. And I believe there is an extra life back here. And there is a mumbo token over around here on the other side. So it's worth it to come here, I guess. Is there a mumbo token? I remember there being a mumbo token in here. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, well. I thought there was a mumbo token in here. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I guess it's worth coming in here for that extra life if you want to grab an, a quick one before going to Clanker's Cavern or to one of the other levels. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do here yet, so we're just going to have to continue on. I'll head back up here. Whoop. Get up there, Banjo. There you go. Okay. Let's uh, go back into where the area is up here by the entrance to Clanker's Cavern. I think I may have missed something here. I might be mistaken, but I might not be. I'm honestly not sure at this point. Um, okay. Yes, there's something that you can do by getting up there. I think that's important, but I can't remember for sure. There's a sw Oh, there it is. That's what I missed. Probably walked right past it when I was coming out of here. Not probably. I did walk right past it. And it raises that pipe, and then we can get a, use that to get across there. And I believe that'll lead us to the fifth... Why do I keep saying fifth? Fourth puzzle. Not the fifth puzzle. Darn it. It's like I keep getting them mixed up. And it's not that hard. They're, they're, they're in order, or at least a reasonable... Reasonable uh, thing of order. There's Belinda again. We can we could talk to her, but we're not going to because she's boring and stupid and useless. So we use this to open up that pipe down there. Um, yeah, and this should lead us to the fourth puzzle. Right. I keep I keep thinking it's Z to dive, not B, but I guess it's. Uh... And Grunty's still taunting us. Alright, so this should be... Yep, okay, this is the puzzle to the fourth world. Let's go ahead and press Z and fill it in. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Yay. Alright, so let's head on back out there. We already saw where the entrance was, uh, so I'm just probably going to cut there because I don't think you guys want to see me walk all the way back. Alright, so now we're back here. Um, I guess, looking at the level layout of the area that we were just in, it is possible to sequence break and skip Clanker's Cavern entirely just by, um, you know, going into the area where Clanker's Cavern is, hitting the switch to raise the pipe, going to the... and opening up this level first instead of Clanker's Cavern, but you need a lot of jiggies for it, and I honestly don't know if you have enough at that stage of the game, even if you've gotten them all. So there's a honeycomb thing around behind, but we're not going to grab that. Instead, we're going to go into the fourth level, Public Loop Swamp. 
So there's a new move here, and it's actually right behind us right when we start the level. There's not absolutely no you know, cutting, there's no hedging about it. Straight, cut straight to the chase. Basically, it's not a new move, it's just a new item we can use. Uh, the waiting boots are important both in this game and Banjo-Tooie because they allow us to walk in what would otherwise be dangerous uh, shallow water or lava or something else like that. There's a new enemy here. These are the Flivets. Uh, they're annoying little frogs that like to bounce around and they're really hard to get with Banjo's roll. So you're going to want to use your uh, AB attack or AZ or ZD attack to take them out. Most of, them, most of the time they only take one hit to bring down. Um, okay, so that's where we started. And then over here we have this young fellow. Very shiny looking. Looks like he's hungry. Let's feed him. So this starts a sort of side mission through this level, is that we have, I believe, five of those uh, cro golden crocodile fellows, Croctus or whatever they're called, uh, that we have to feed. Now there are also something else in this throughout this level, is that these uh, bull rushes, you have to climb those and jump on top of them to grab items. Uh, and then here's something else about this level that we haven't seen so far in this game. Dangerous water. That's what the waiting boots are for. All this water down below us is full of nasty little piranha. And if we try to walk into it, they're going to nibble on Banjo's toes and... Yeah. Not to mention you walk slower while you're trying to go around in it normally. You can wander wing through it, but that wastes a lot of gold feathers. And it's easier just to grab a pair of wading boots, run over to where whatever it is that you want to grab is in it. Uh, like this mumble token here. Whoa, this is a weird camera glitch. And then uh, head towards an area like this, press B, and you're done. And we can grab some more Wonderwing feathers. It's going to. This is one of those areas where Wonderwing is useful but not necessary because, like I said, you can go through the water with Wonderwing. Um, if you're caught out, like if you fall off a platform or something and wind up in the water without having a pair of boots, so that's useful. Um, this is going to be tricky right here. So we hit that switch. It causes a jiggy to appear up above us, and we have to get to that jiggy in 45 seconds. And make our way up these platforms. What I'm gonna do, whoops. Okay, what I was planning on doing is uh, just grabbing the jiggy and then headed back, heading back along the path again to get all the other items up there, but I fell off already. This bodes well. Let's go ahead and take, the, take this on then. So these are golden flivets. They're a little bit more dangerous than their red brethren because they actually take two hits instead of one, and even from most Banjo's most powerful attacks, you have to kill all of them to be able to get their gold, i.e. a jiggy, just like uh, every other side quest in this game. Thankfully, they do drop health when you kill them, though, so that makes this a little bit easier. Yes, yes, Grunty. So these guys, they're, uh, again, the flivets are a little bit annoying because of their regular movement patterns. They Sometimes they'll head toward you, sometimes they'll head away from you. And they're really hard to hit with any of Banjo's attacks very reliably since most of them are on the ground. And they spend, and the flivets seem to spend half their time in the air. Oh boy, if I die here. Snap. Ah, oh, that's what I get for being overzealous. Yeah, and... Grunty gives us a verbal middle finger, and we've got to start the level over. 